this next one on my list would be easily my number one as of right now and would have a very, very good chance at still being like top three. Just, I have to say top three because like I know Tenant and Dune are going to be so high I, that, that like I'm already scared about how hyped I am for those two. And that is the ESPN miniseries, The Last Dance. Wild. <laughs> I know. Um, and I should I should preface this going in, like, I enjoy playing basketball. I am not, like, a fan of basketball. I don't watch basketball games. Like, I just, it's just, I don't know. It's just not, it's not my thing. But this miniseries, so this miniseries is following, uh, base, like, it, it it's following several timelines. But in the main one is the Bulls 97 to 98 playoff run, which Phil Jackson, the f- famous head coach of the Bulls, titled that season The Last Dance, like on like his like game plan for the year, The Last Dance, so th- hence the title The Last Dance. How many times did I just say The Last Dance? Bonus points if you get it right. Give me like four more times. <laughs> no. Um, <clears throat> but it's also cutting back to like – to previous years where Michael Jack or Michael Jackson, Michael Jordan uh, uh-huh. jo- joined with the Bulls, and it's following like the beginning of his career with the end of his career, and it kind of meets at this at this like penultimate season where they they play. I don't I, I don't want to say it like where if people they play. Like I don't want to say like like obviously like it's a championship like pe- like it, that's happened in real life. People know who wins, but like. It's kind of fun going into it, like not knowing the actual results of it, uh, it the, and this this docu series is able to break out like, like Ethan, are you are you, are you a big fan of basketball? Uh, you know, I'm kind of a pretty cool court head. Uh, you know, I'm uh I'm uh I'm definitely uh, uh up to up to my stuff in God, I hate in you basketball. You know, but I'm, like, talk, you've, I'm you've... talking hoop shots. I'm talking uh talking Shaquille O'Neal. I'm talking the Lakers. I'm talking Sha- half courts. I'm talking. Shaquille O'Neal is in this documentary. I'm uh, talking. Like uh, what are some more basketball things I know? Uh, I don't think any of these things are. <laughs> Swish. But Swish. You've, you've definitely heard of players such as like Dennis Rodman, Magic Johnson. Dennis Rodman, the uh, official I... <laughs> U.S. ambassador to North Korea. Dennis Rodman? Yes. Sick. yes. You've heard of Scottie Pippen. You've Scottie heard of Pippen, Larry better Bird, than right? Michael Jordan. Ooh, that's honestly not even like a hot take anymore. I know. Like, I know. He's not, but like he's also very, very good. Uh, and I like these are all people like I I know them obviously, but watching this documentary gives so much backstory. Like we get this whole story about when Scottie Pippen was in college. It's not like he got a scholarship to go play basketball for college, he started on the team as an equipment manager. And when several people fell off the team because of because they lost their scholarships because of grades, Scottie Pippen was able to try out for the team and made the team. And he just happened to grow six inches that following year and actually became like a dominant player oh, in college. I oh, know, I know all about growing six <laughs> inches, David. God. <laughs> Don't lie. Don't lie to us. Um, what and do you mean? It's, it's also able... <laughs> It's also able to do this thing that, <clears throat> oddly enough, kind of felt like uh, making a murderer, where at the end of each episode, it leaves it with like such a cliffhanger moment where you're like, I need that next episode. What a potentially scathing, excessively positive, or exceedingly middling review of that movie you just <laughs> heard. If you want to hear more that could potentially fit into any of those categories click this box which has more reviews and clips from the main show we also got our weekly mini episodes over here in this box and make sure to click the circle in the middle to subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on another episode in the future